Okay, playing furnace guy today. There's the filter, there's the control, but the fil or the furnace is nowhere to be found. And they're probably gonna tell me here in a minute where it is. If I answer this phone. Hello? 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 Oh, okay. Gotta climb up here and look for the furnace. And no water heater, that's a good sign. Uh, hope nobody comes and busts me here because nobody said anything about an alarm. Uh, well, that's the way it goes sometimes. Live and learn. Oh. Well, just gonna have to get a little ladder and pop up there. Okay, spoke to fast. Oh, there's a little drip. Oh, it's gonna be a big drip in no time. Uh oh. Uh, we got problems. Well, at least it's, some of it's dripping down into that catch pan. Yeah, there's water in there. That heater came on for a minute, but it didn't seem to eat anything. Okay, Alex on. Yeah, we see signs of critters. Uh oh, critters. Are they chewing on wires? I hope not. Critter bill. And here we have the Bryant, and it's flashing a red light. One, two, three. Morse code. One. Two, oh, what is it? One short, one and three long flashes. And so what does it say? Oh, it's status light, uh, no previous code. Okay, I'll reset it. So basically, we got, that motor's gotta be good, cause that's, it's blowing. What I like to do is I like to check the output. This is a 24 volt transformer, 24 volt AC transformer. It would be, this would be the input here, the AC input. And this would be the output, red and blue. We just gotta make sure we got 24 volts there. I smell something that smells like it's burned. I'm not sure where it came from. Um, so, and we got some, I gotta check this. And the inducer uh, vacuum. And then this thermostat up here, it's a resettable thermostat. Okay, there it is. Wow, well, that came on, it didn't even heat. Okay, so, we should have that igniter ignite. I didn't check the continuity on it, but. Um, so that igniter looks like it's good. Okay, there it is. Okay, there it is. I don't know why. You tell me. You tell me. Mystery tour. I don't smell anything burning now, except for that gas. Nice blue flame in there. Now, there's a flame sensor in there. That flame sensor could be checked wire here, this white wire, that little electrode in there, those things get dirty sometimes, you gotta clean those off, uh, dollar bill, paper, uh, cleaning tool for those, you definitely don't want to use sandpaper, you can't really wipe them off basically, now the inducer motor smells, sounds a little loud, but maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. Well, apparently everything's working at this point. Better close this draft here. What happens is these things, if they suck in too much air, uh, they'll shut down and uh, act erratic. So I better put this thing back together here. Okay, mystery solved. Brian, Brian service.
Okay, I'll reset it. So basically, we got that motor's got to be good because that's it's, it's blowing. What I like to do is I like to check the output. This is a 24 volt transformer, 24 volt AC transformer. It would be this would be the input here, the AC input, and this would be the output, red and blue. We just got to make sure we got 24 volts there. I smell something that smells like it's burnt. I'm not sure wh where it came from. Um, so, and we got some, I got to check this. And the inducer uh, vacuum. And then this thermostat up here, it's a resettable thermostat. Okay, there it is. Well, that came on, it didn't even heat. Okay, so should have that igniter ignite I didn't check the continuity on it but um, so that igniter looks like it's good so okay there it is okay, so, okay there it is I don't know why you tell me you tell me mystery tour I don't smell anything burning now, except for that gas. Nice blue flame in there. Now there's a flame sensor in there. That flame sensor could be checked. This wire here, this white wire, that little electrode in there. Those things get dirty sometimes. You gotta clean those off. Uh, dollar bills and a favorite uh, cleaning tool for those. Definitely don't want to use sandpaper. Just gently wipe them off, basically. That, that inducer motor smells, sounds a little loud, but maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. Well, apparently everything's working at this point. Better close this draft here. What happens is these things, if they suck in too much air, uh, they'll shut down and uh, act erratic. So I better put this thing back together here. Okay, mystery solved. Brian. Brian service. Okay, test cycle. So we're going to shut it down. We're going to shut it down. I'm going to clean that, the flame sensor. This white wire here. And we're going to test it one more time and uh, head out yonder. Okay, I just noticed this, that light is solid on, so that, it's not indicating the error at this point, so, and all I did was reset it, I just unplugged it, and plug it back in, and it came on and worked fine, and so, uh, this is, uh, what is this thing, uh, Bryant model, uh, 3, uh, 3, 3KA, V zero two four zero seven zero, and so I'll just clean. I'm gonna clean that flame sensor, and uh, call it a day. Okay, there's the second fire up, and seems to be firing just fine. We've got no blinking lights down here. Oh, better put that on the right way, huh? Got to check that filter. Got one solid red light on that now. Oh, we do have critters in there. Let's see. I don't know how they got inside there. Crawling through these little holes like this one here. Maybe. That's working out. Hallelujah.